Hey everyone! Today I'm going to tell you how I made my latest Keyleth crown using nothing more than Warbla foam, hot glue, and wire. This is my first time ever working with Warbla, but I'm pretty proud with how this turned out. I started by patterning out the circlet using my mannequin head. It's measured to my head when my hair is up in a wig cap, so I knew that the circlet pattern would fit snugly over the wig. Once patterned, I cut out the design and transferred it to paper, where I made a mock-up and made some adjustments. Finally happy with the shape and size, I transferred everything to EVA foam. I'm using two millimeter craft foam. This is the stuff that you can get at the store that's usually for kids, and it's really cheap. The centerpiece I mirrored and cut out into one full piece and everything else was just individual pieces. Once the foam pieces were cut, I sandwiched them between pieces of warbler that had been heated up, and I just basically squished all the warbler together. Just make sure that you're very careful during this step if you're working with warbler, because it's very hot. You do have to use a heat gun when you use warbler. You can't use something like a hair dryer because it's gotta be a really hot heat, so just, It'll burn your fingies. Also make sure you have parchment paper down on whatever surface you're working on. I didn't know that initially and I forgot to put some down and it really was a pain in the butt trying to get the warbler off stuff because it sticks to everything except parchment paper. Once the warbler is nearly hardened, go ahead and cut out the shapes with scissors. Just make sure not to cut too, too close to the edge of the foam or else the warbler will split and the piece will fall out. Once all the pieces were cut out, I slowly began to heat shape them together, using my mannequin head to bend them around it until it fit the shape that I wanted. After that, I tidied up the ugly corners and kind of the rougher edges by heating them up and smoothing them down with my finger or just tugging them behind the circlet itself. For the antlers, I drew a quick sketch on paper and then created a wire frame for it. To give the antler some body and secure the joints, I covered the entire thing with hot glue. Once done, all I did was heat warbler scraps and just wrap them around the entire frame with the hot glue. Using a Dremel, I smoothed out all the areas that I didn't like. I also heat gun some of the areas and smoothed it out by hand as well, but I found the Dremel to be a little bit more useful in this regard. I wanted to make the antlers detachable for travel for a future thing that I have planned coming up. So what I did and what I found to be the best thing was I just screwed them in. I used heavy duty deck screws for this. I found that magnets didn't work really well. Nothing seemed to hold the antlers up and I think it's just because they are pretty heavy. Magnets and hair clips didn't work to hold the crown on my head. So what I wound up doing was just using black elastic that I attached to the back of the crown by using warbler scraps just to reinforce the hot glue that I used to attach the elastic. And my wig hair can be pulled over it or my actual hair can be pulled over it and it hides the elastic band. Primed everything with about seven layers of Plasti Dip and then just painted it with acrylic paints. To create the texture or pattern of the antlers that I really wanted, I just smeared paint all across it and then rubbed some of it off and it created this really nice texture that I liked. Once finished, I've sealed everything with an acrylic sealer and began to decorate. I'll be adding more moss and flowers later, but for now I was really happy with the results and I was also on a time crunch because I had to get the thing finished like 30 minutes before I had to leave for a photo shoot. I absolutely love this cosplay and my new crown. The pattern for the crown will be available on Patreon if you're really interested. I do have a video and a pattern as well for the cape. I'll link that in the description. You can watch the video of how I made my new leaf cloak on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or you just want to geek out about Critical Role. And I will see you all next time.